Colorado State University is out with its forecast for the Atlantic hurricane season. Uh, and it's not going to be good. It's expected to be a busy season. And KHU 11 meteorologist Cheetah Craft is in South Padre Island tonight. And she's talking to experts at the National Tropical Weather Conference to hear what the hurricane forecast means for Texas. Lynn, Mia, this was day three of the Tropical Weather Conference and it was jam packed. The forecast for the 2024 Atlantic Basin is the highest forecasted from Colorado State University in the month of April ever. We are forecasting an extremely um, or, or most active April seasonal forecast on record. The reason why we're going um, so aggressively this April is because the conditions look extremely conducive. Also, I think we have uh, better model guidance now than we say did the last time we were issuing forecasts this high, which is about 10 years ago. So the number one question, what does that mean for Southeast Texas? During Dr. Klotzbach's presentation today, he showed a probability of 54% for the Texas coastline. La Nina tends to favor storm formations in the Western Atlantic Caribbean becomes more conducive. Tens of storms also tend to be a little bit more straight moving, uh, so that also increases the impacts for the western part of the Atlantic Basin. The official start of hurricane season is June 1st, with storms typically ramping up off the coast of Africa around August 20th. You know, every season is different, but we're expecting a very active season and trending into a La Nina pattern. Here in South Padre, attending the Tropical Weather Conference, I'm meteorologist Cheetah Craft. Back to you.